People who have gone through the topic Lindbergh Levy CLT can enjoy this session. Suppose we have a population with mean mu and variance sigma square, which is finite. If we take out of it a sequence of iid random variables, let's say xn and define is in is nothing but i equals to 1 to n xi then what Lindbergh Levy CLT says that sn minus expectation of it divided by under root variance of sn which converges in distribution or law to normal 0 1 or standard normal distribution. Suppose this population is Bernoulli. With some parameter Let's specify this parameter, uh, say 0 0.25. Okay. Let's go to our studio. We assign x equals to r binome 1, comma, n comma 0 0.25 why this is 1 because if we take n equals to 1 in, in one. binomial then it becomes Bernoulli that's why it, we take this 1 okay then why n we will be discussing it later and this p which is 0 0.25 as specified here then what is his expectation let sn follows what sn follows binomial n comma 0 0.25 then what will be its expectation expectation of sn equals to n into p which is 0 0.25 and similarly the variance would be n into p which is 0 0.25 into q 0 0.75 okay let's go for this random variable let's say let's say Let's say it as CN equals to okay. Go to our studio, then Y equals to N into that zero one to five, Z equals to that, and C equals to sum of X. Okay, the sum of the random variables or the random observations minus its expected value which is y by square root of z which is the variance okay we put it into a function called sample with argument n and run it
if we take a sample of size 10 or n equals to 10 then what the sample function gives just one value just one value why n observations are taken or here specifically 10 observations are taken then put it put it into the sum and minus is expected value divided by under root variance and it gives just one value and we take a print statement into uh, this function that's why we get only one value secondly what we get is just one value one value of cn we have to run it n times to get the n observations of this random variable cn so what we have to do is let's define another function a with argument n r and n let's define a function a with arguments r and n and also define b such that it's a vector of size r with elements only zero zero comma zero up to r times then assign a for loop such that b order i equals to concatenate of sample of n which is that function then we have to return the value of b uh, let okay let's clear this history and let's start afresh a of 10 comma 10 let's run this but we get 10 values that is the 10 values of this or 10 observations of this random variable and next we want to draw a histogram of it okay histogram of it let's draw this histogram okay we take r equals to 100 and n equals to also 100 this is the histogram and also the curve of normal distribution or standard normal distribution let's watch this um, it may be suspicious that if we take a large number of observations from the population that is n equals to thousand or ten thousand or one million or greater than ten thousand actually uh, then what we get let's make it thousand 
this is also 1000 let's run this let's run this whole thing whole thing again and again let's close this and zoom in this it's quite like standard normal right so you can make it for exponential remember also. that if ASIN doesn't have any specified distribution then we can't apply the CLT let's go for exponential one for exponential distribution let's clear this R exp of in let's say red equals to 5 then there may be some extra bracket okay then summation of x must follow what distribution gamma distribution gamma in comma 5 right then what will be it mean in by 5 and what would be its variance in by 5 square which is 25 and, uh, and it will be same it will be also same uh, this remains same let's run this Let's go for 10,000 and run it. It will take some time, obviously. Wow, this is quite convincing.